The next example that I have, Little Big Planet 3 for $30. I love that game, by the way. I should probably make a, a video of my underrated or personally underrated games that I have in my collection because I think Little Big Planet is one of them, the Little Big Planet series. Little Big Planet 3. For the PlayStation 4, this game. The, the loose price, of course, when it's a disc based, is just a disc, of course. Completing price may or may not have manuals. A, a lot of these newer gen games don't even have manuals because they're all el either electronically uh, in, in the game already or you need to do that stupid code where you scan your phone, blah, 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 and then you get the manual, whatever. So even if you were to pick this up brand new at a retail store, brand new price is averaging $12 so maybe you'll pay no more than $15, $20 at a retro, well yeah at a retro gaming shop or a re retailer I'm sorry so for someone to be selling these as twice as much almost three times as much of what this game is worth it's just insane the next one man why okay I'm gonna reiterate and let me repeat myself for the million time again not because there's a game that has a Mario label on it, a Zelda label, a Metroid label or what have you, a Pokemon label. It doesn't mean, not most of the times, it's not necessarily be a pricey title. Some of those Pokemons, sorry, I'm gonna some, I'm gonna contradict myself a little bit here, so it could be pricey, but most of these common ones, Super Mario games, are not as pricey as most of these people think it is. He's asking $30. When I started doing this video series of WTF, the game was averaging about $12. Then towards the last videos I did, Mario Bros. 3 was down to $8, I think. There you have it. Super Mario Bros. 3 loose price, which is just the cartridge alone, is averaging $10. If you go to a retro gaming shop, maybe $18, $20 give or take so for an individual to sell it at $30 uh, I, I, I think it's just a bit much if 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 this is not a legitimate legitimate business even though if it was a legitimate business $30 will be pushing it because I've seen it as high believe me as high as $35 and $40 at a retro gaming shop and that's way too much I think remember they already have, they're already making a profit margin of their trading value to bring it up to what the market value is and on top of that they have the markup so for someone to have a Mario Brothers 3 for $35, $40 it's way too much another same thing Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 for $30 same thing I'm not even gonna show you it's averaging probably like $12, $15 no more than $20 that you're gonna pay for a brand new one okay this is pretty cool this is awesome because there are two specific games that I want to focus on here. Well, actually, where, where's the description on these? Oh, okay. So, we have different DS and 3DS titles. We have Zelda, A Link to the Past, and Zelda, Ocarina of Time. We have some Pokemons, Mario Kart. I'm gonna say they're all averaging $10, okay, just for the sake of this conversation, no more than 15 now, it doesn't mean that that's why you should be paying just an average. Okay, let me jump into the description of this post. 3DS games, a link between worlds for the ca cartridge only, $20. Ocarina of Time, $30. You're kidding me. Ah, son of a gun. These games, both of the Zeldas that I just mentioned, are averaging like $15. Here we go. Ocarina of Time 3D, $10. And Ocarina, A Link Between Worlds, another $11. So there you go. Yay! I I'm right. So, but what I wanted to show you that even though they're averaging $11, $15, $20, and $40, and $30 for these posts, for these specific games on these posts, is way too much. Why? Because if you were to go to a, a store, a retailer, look at this. Targets this week's ad. 
they have it for $15 Ocarina of Time have the price of what this person is asking for a brand new one and Majora's Mask too and what do we have down here a link between worlds for $15 only you can seriously be that stupid to go and overpay an individual for the cartridge alone so, I mean if you don't care that's fine I, I think many retro game collectors they'll rather have the little case right with some of them came with manual steel on the 3ds titles some of them didn't some of them did so let's just jump into the next example Sonic the Hedgehog 3 for $30 I'm gonna say that Sonic the Hedgehog 3 it's averaging on the $8 $10 range yeah there you go $11 why because I actually I personally sold one not too long ago for $5 I'm not trying to rip anyone off and of course I don't have a legitimate business so what profit margin do I want to make why did I sell one for five dollars well sometimes me I, I buy lots like game lots which is a bunch a bulk whatever you want to call it but when it comes to video games it's called a video game lot so when I buy these video game lots I keep the ones I don't have within my collection and the duplicates as it is in this case the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 I ended up selling, selling it for five dollars which of course I'm not trying to make any money I already got the games I got at a great deal of course that's those are the perks of looking for a game lot and this guy is selling it for thirty dollars three times as much as what this game is averaging at Say what? okay this is the same guy who was selling the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 this guy's asking thirty five dollars get the hell out of here dude Sonic Spinball, where is it at? Sonic Spinball, right here. Yeah, it's averaging $5.47. $35, it's way too much. You're probably not gonna find it for any more than $15 at a retro gaming shop. Maybe $20, but I personally think that's way too much. <laughs> uh, Mario Brothers, and what is that? It's a Tengen game. Oh, that's uh, Rampart, I think. Yeah, so both of these games, I already showed you how much uh, Mario Brothers is, and this game, the Rampart, I think it's going for about, it's on the $10 range, I think, too. So here we go, Rampart. Yeah, $10 game. Bam! Nailed it. So $10 for Rampart, loose price alone, and Super Mario Brothers 3, another $10 game. You would probably pay no more than $20, $25, even $30 at a retro gaming shop where you're gonna have guarantees or even yeah your period where you're gonna be able to exchange it if something doesn't go or if it doesn't work properly this guy's asking twice as much or for more than what you find these two common titles at a retro gaming shop forty dollars jesus christ that's way too much super mario all stars and here's another example of someone who possibly thinks that it's a classic game and even though that sense corrected uh, it doesn't make it a pricey title because Super Mario All-Stars here we go Super Mario All-Stars it's averaging $12 so maybe at a retro gaming shop you're probably gonna play pay not play close to $25 maybe even 30 even though that's probably pushing it $40 is way too much Mortal Kombat 2 same thing same seller he has the same background so it's the same seller for $40 holy stuffy Mortal Kombat 2 for the Super Nintendo you know it's going for about the same price Mortal Kombat 2 for the Super Nintendo it's averaging $11 you would probably pay close to the 18 range or $20 range at a retro gaming shop give or take okay doesn't mean that's the what you will pay but that's what you will approximately pay so why would you pay forty dollars to individual out here on the street I don't know that's nice I don't know that's nice I really like that because you're stupid that's why no mm -hmm. hey. oh yes did get him no. oh but he did it next we have another one selling a link between worlds for the 3DS. Oh, he says sealed. Yeah. Great deal, right? For $40. Why? We just looked at it. It's $15. Go
go around the target right now even if that was a sale I know Target does not have this title for more than $25. I don't care if it's sealed, guaranteed to work, but why would you pay twice as much of what this price of what this game is going for? Why? You really are crazy. Outrageous, like I say, outrageous. <laughs> okay, God. Oh god, oh god. Someone selling a uh, Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past for $40. Even though that game is only averaging $18, maybe $20. I hope to be wrong. I hope to be wrong so someone can just laugh their ass off at me. Oh no, look! A god damn it, nailed it in the ass! Zelda A Link to the Past, $18. Didn't I just say that? Yes, I did. $18. And these guys selling it for $40. Get the hell out of here. Hey, it's Zelda. One of the classics right here on the description. A Link to the Past is actually all my all-time favorite of all. First of all, why are you selling your all-time favorite of all? Why are you selling it at three times as much of what this game is? And not even that, let's look at another little piece of description he has in here. Zelda, a link to the past, rare in capital letters. Lettuce, no, not lettuce, letters. <laughs> it's a rare lettuce, that's what it is. Son of a bitch, dude. $40 rare. No, it's not rare, dude. Rare out of your ass. Rare because it's favorite to you. It's a classic to you. But, dude. Rare. You gotta watch out with, with that. Because when you're doing your research, the prices <laughs> might not be so bad. This one's terrible. But some of other prices out there might not be so bad. But the descriptions. That's where they're gonna try to hook you onto why they're price tagging their items the way they are because of the way they describe the item. Because it's rare, because it's in mint condition, or it's new, or whatever. Dude, god damn it, some people, dude. This person, this individual, clearly wants to take advantage of people. Like, don't, don't, this is, I'm not gonna give the benefit of the doubt that this person doesn't know. So this person clearly knows it's a good classic game. He knows that, he acknowledges that, but it's not a rare game. And when you throw in rare into a title to try to make more buck than what this game is worth, you gotta get the hell out of here. Let me try to go through the description real quick because it's outrageous. Not only is he asking for a high price tag on these, but he's like putting a whole disclaimer as if that's what he's getting regardless, okay? I'm gonna try to read as quick as I can. I only deal with cash in person. I will not chip. I accept any form of electronic payments. Absolutely no solicitors or low bowling. Well, if you offer what this game is, rent, uh, averaging the $20, I think that's low bowling because you're offering less than or about half of what, this is, of what he's asking price is. Please read. I will not chip this item. It is for pickup cash in hand only. I do not accept Google uh, via text, message, or emails. They are, they are on out of block. I am currently only accepting local area codes such as 714, 568, 949, 562. Okay, so not, not, not only are, are you asking an outrageous price, but you're limiting your target demographic. Your, yeah, you're like, dude, don't be so picky, dude. Like, you know what? Screw these. I'm gonna move on. This is outrageous. Next picture. Sell the Majora's Mask for the 3D and Nintendo 3DS. 40 bucks. We already looked at it. How much it is and how much you can get it for. 40 bucks. Out of here. Next, NES Advantage Joystick for 45 dollars. Whew. You know how much that is. I'll tell you. It's about a 15 dollar item average on the market and 
advantage controller and on the retro gaming chops you're probably gonna find it uh, around $25 maybe no more than $30 and I'm saying no more maybe no more than $30 because I have not seen it that high I've seen it for $25 all across the board and all the retro gaming shops that I've been into for $25 because it's averaging $19 so when they uh, when they get these items they probably buy it for half of it because even though it's not so much of a common accessory I'm sorry to the NES library it, it's not that hard to get so they not only buy this item for about 10 12 dollars mark it up to 20 25 whatever the profit margin is and there you go you have a legitimate or a really good price when you mark it around the 25 dollar mark but this guy wants 45 dollars get the hell out of here next super mario bros bros deluxe for game boy and the label looks like shit and he wants fifty dollars what the fuck <laughs> are you serious dude this game is also around the eight dollars super mario bros deluxe for the game boy color here we go yes it's nine dollars damn i'm almost on point on every single example i'm showing you so it's averaging ten dollars 15 18 dollars you'll probably pay at a retro gaming shop but fudge 50 dollars for a beat up someone e oh my god look at that look at the edges of that game boy like someone shoved it up their ass scrubbed it and pulled it back out and he wants 50 dollars my man you're you're out of control you're whoo my god there it is. Oh, there's the full picture of the cartridge. $50 for a beat up out of your asshole cartridge. Son of a bitch. $50 for a Mario Kart. Son of a gun. Mario Kart, it's also around an $18 game. Okay, here we go. Super Mario Kart. What did I say? $19.53 average so you're probably gonna pay as high as maybe $30 but this guy's selling for 50 just an individual out there you're insane get the hell out of here dude no 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 I don't wanna zoom in I wanna move Metroid DS this is the Metroid Prime Hunters the game that us Metroid fans don't want a game that nobody wants for $50, this guy's asking. Uh, before I click on it, I'm gonna say it's no more than $10. For the DS. Ha! What the hell was that? Ha! It's only a $5 game, completing price, with manuals and everything, it's $10. And this guy wants $50. <laughs> oh lordy christ he wants six times almost six times as much of what this game would be or prime hunters i know i've seen it for eight eighteen dollars at a retro gaming shop completing price son of a god dude what do we say kids next 